daily reminder, move your body, move your body. If you're supporting the Palestinians and you're witnessing what is happening um, to the Palestinian people in this genocide, move your body, move your body, move the discharge out of your body. Don't allow it to get lodged and locked in. Um, it will have, um, it'll strain your nervous system. It'll have um, really negative um, and um, problematic issues for your body and your nervous system. Um, move your body. On another note, I just want to make it really clear that if you are still hanging about in my, in my pages or um, in my world and you still are telling me or still have the opinion, maybe you're not telling me, that Israel has the right to do what they're doing to the Palestinians, that it's about Hamas, that it's too hard or it's too complicated or you don't understand it, you get the fuck out of my life because it's a line in the sand drawn for me. I am not interested in your in your racism, number one, and number two, in the lack of your humani humanity. Because if I was down and out, if I was struggling, I know you wouldn't be there for me. I absolutely know you wouldn't be there for me. And actually, it's interesting enough that the bulk of the people in my personal life who haven't taken a stance on, pa on Palestine, who are sitting on the fence or sitting in the shadows or not making um, um, their, their views really clearly known, the bulk of those people are the ones who've been sitting on the fence in my own personal um, crisis that I um, experienced two years ago and ongoing. None of them came either. So from experience, if the people in your life are not speaking up about the Palestinians and seeing any issues with this genocide, then they're very likely in your times of need not going to be there for you. So I just see this as a really great opportunity to cut them out.